going on guys um, I just want to do a quick review because I believe I have put enough time and hours on it that I can give you my honest opinion so we are going to review the Mora Garberg now I have the Mora Garberg in high carbon steel uh, there's a few things I wouldn't call them negatives but that I would want to point out if you look really close at where I sharpened the front of the knife you can tell that it sharpened the edge and the upper part of the grind for some reason I don't know if it was just mine or if it's something that they do on every knife the Garberg the front of this actually had a little bit of a hollow grind um, it's a scandy grind knife as you can tell with the rest of the knife it sharpened like a scandy grind the front of this sharpened like it had a small hollow grind to it so I don't know if that's a defect in the one I got or if that's something that they're doing with all of them it does not in any way uh, make the knife less uh, worth its 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 dollar all right so the more garbard i'm just going to give you some general stats a little bit over a four inch blade a little over nine inches overall the material is a composite um nylon that they've come up with this is their own deal it's a mixture it's not quite hard it's not quite rubbery it feels absolutely wonderful in your hand um, the knife itself being the carbon steel is very easy to sharpen uh, this thing is razor shave sharp shave a bald spot on you pretty quick um, doesn't take much to get back to sharp that being said being a carbon steel over the stainless it'll dull faster um, whether you go with the stainless or the carbon those are reasonings you're gonna have to um, go over yourself depending on your environment and what you're looking to do with the knife. I chose the carbon steel for a few reasons. Uh, one is the ease of sharpness. Um, being a carbon steel, you can strike this with a piece of quartz or flint or a hard stone and create a spark to get some uh, char cloth going. That's a lot of reason why some of the more well-known outdoor um, instructors and enthusiasts carry carbon steel because you can get a spark off of this in an emergency I personally believe that if you are down to having to make a spark off of your knife to get a fire going you are in a lot of trouble I'm sure you'd be glad you had it if you had no other reason but I believe if you are an avid outdoorsman you should have multiple redundancies to start a fire and uh, for me sparking this knife to start a fire is going to be the absolute last thing I ever uh, want to do or hope I ever have to do um, one thing that I really like about this knife and I'll have to uh, take my sheath off here real quick all right the sheath you can buy these with a leather sheath has a completely uh, closable top over the top of the knife what I bought was the multi mount this is what I have on me all my time it's a really nice leather strap you know a, a plastic sheath that Mora is well known for I've never had one of these sheaths fail I've got a couple Moras that are uh, a little more used than this one and I've never had these fail this thing goes on my belt a little bit of a dangler type of a deal um, I've had no problems with it it does snap in if I shook it real hard I could get it to come out I have not had this fall out on me to date um, I do as I mentioned before put the orange lanyards on the end of a lot of my equipment especially if they're darker colored if I drop this in the evening if I drop it anywhere it's an all-black knife this makes it a lot easier to find um, I've had no problems with the knife um, or the sheath um, it's a full tang knife by Mora and a lot of people looked at it originally and said you know a hundred bucks for a Mora that's crazy I mean Mora was known for you spend your your 20 30 bucks for a really high quality knife they weren't full tang this was Mora's response to that need of a full tang knife um i don't know if that's just you know the american market mostly um it's a solid knife this isn't going anywhere you go on moore's website and they call it a one tool option it's supposed to baton we are going to baton this 
to be honest with you I still feel with this this fine scandy edge and this is a this is a more precise tool but they do say right on their website that um, this knife will baton and it does baton I do still carry my other knife on me and would prefer to baton with that one it's a little more robust but this will handle it um, let's see let's go over the rest of the sheath here this is what also comes with the multi-mount system going back and forth between the regular sheath and the multi-mount is a process it's not something you're just going to continue to do i don't carry this part on me uh, this is you can lash this many different ways whether you screw it to something permanently uh, it's you can run it so it's molly compatible but this is a something that you could keep mounted uh, let's say you were running a stainless steel one and you had this on your boat you could actually screw this to your boat the whole thing clips and unclips from in here the only thing that I was disappointed in is that this ring it's either or it's the belt loop or this safety latch you can't do both I would have loved to seen this loop and and this belt loop being able to be used at the same time but this ring here pops off and this one pops on and it's either or uh, the multi-mount thing is really great I don't see me mounting it to anything uh, maybe if I went on a really long uh, backpacking adventure I could mount this upside down on my shoulder strap but even with my backpack on being a low hang sheath this doesn't get in my way this is the way I'm gonna run it all the time I have considered and looked into a custom leather sheath for this because the knife is worth it um, but for what comes with it I've got no problems with this plastic sheath whatsoever uh, the knife itself feels great in the hand it's sharp stays sharp easy to sharp again they come in a stainless also so what I'm going to do here is we'll make a, a couple of feather sticks I'll split that stick um, so I guess really I would suggest this knife my honest opinion is the knife is worth every dollar people say it's very expensive for a more knife the quality of this knife the materials of this knife what you're getting uh, with the multi mount or even the leather sheath in any other brand if they said it was $150 $175 no one would bat an eye on it if it was a bench made or you know any of those high-end uh, knife manufacturers if they offered this same exact knife took this name off and put their name on it no one would bat an eye at 150 175 dollars um, i believe you can get them now for around 80 between 80 and 100 depending on what model what sheath etc this knife is worth every dollar it's one of the nicest knives i own um, i'm growing to trust it more and more um, i like to put time in on the things that i use so let's uh we'll baton this stick here I, I don't really feel uh, the need to show you gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know, making the feather sticks or anything. This thing is just absolutely shave sharp and easy to maintain in the field. It's it's a beautiful knife in your hand. It, it feels great. You can do some really fine work with it. Um, the, the, the thing that I was most concerned with in the beginning was doing heavier tasks with it. And I do have another knife that I, would, I said I would prefer to um, use for the heavier tasks. But if you go on their website, they call this a one-tool option. And um, it will do the trick. So let's go ahead and baton this piece of pine. Uh, it's not a very large piece of pine. It's well twisted, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and... Just send her through. No problems. Um, I wouldn't hesitate to go ahead and just use this like I use my other knife. Um, my my hesitation is less now that I've I've put some hours on it, but it will baton. We'll take care of your kindling needs. We'll take care of your carving needs. The Scandi grind, very popular right now. Um, super sharp, super sharp knife. So anything you needed to do, 
you could do. So my honest, my honest opinion, and it'll always be honest, and I'll always show you why and how is that this knife is worth every dollar. The more Garberg is a nice knife. It's growing on me more and more. Be honest with you, when I first bought it, I was really excited about buying it. I, I held it in my hand. It was great. It felt solid. I knew it was a quality piece of material. But part of me was apprehensive. I wouldn't say disappointed, but I just I held it and I was like, man, this is, you know, I think I held it in too high of a regard. But as time goes by, I'm feeling uh, more and more confident uh, with it. So with that said, oh, one more thing. It's kind of an all over the place video, huh? One more thing that I really like about it, it has a great 90 degree spine, throws absolutely fantastic sparks. One thing I do like about it is that the exposed tang also has a great 90 degree on it. And what I like about that is that I don't have to expose myself to the cutting edge of my blade in a hard uh, motion where I'm not using the cutting edge. You know, you're running it this way, as long as you're safe, you're not going to cut yourself. But you are exposing yourself to the cutting edge uh, towards your body or towards you uh, in a way that is unnecessary because of the way they have the tang. So with the exposed tang in the end, it's got a 90 degree, you can actually push sparks right off with the exposed tang. And that thing throws some serious sparks. So I do really like that, and I have I have done that quite often. Instead of having to expose myself to the the cutting edge of the blade, I can place this down, cutting edges away. I have a small exposed uh, 90 degree on the tang there that throws absolute excellent sparks. So we'll try to keep this video short. I really appreciate you guys watching the videos. Uh, thank you and God bless. And like I said, my honest opinion is that the Mora Garberg is absolutely worth. Uh, what it what it costs. It's absolutely worth the eighty to one hundred dollars, depending on the model and the setup that you get. It's a beautiful knife. I, if this was the only knife I had on me, I would have no concerns whatsoever with it. Mora did a great job. Mora is a great company. Um, everything on here is quality. I don't see any stress, any fails. Um, it gets pretty banged up. It just hangs hangs off my belt all the time. Um, so that's that. The Mora Garberg in carbon. Great knife. I recommend it. I like it. it. Grows on me more and more each day. Thanks for watching. God bless. Have a great day.